Today, I have an update to a story. PCI Express 3.0 can get bottlenecked by this GPU. AMD GPU owners need to watch, and new game-changing tech comes to AMD GPU owners. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, I have a quick update to a recent story I covered. In it, the research firm John Petty Research had released their numbers for the GPU market in Q4 of 2022, and they actually showed that Intel had sold as many discrete GPUs as AMD. That was obviously wow. surprising, but I assumed it had to do with Intel's large mobile division, though these were specifically discrete GPUs, so still something very new to Intel. As I mentioned in that video, those numbers were based off of Intel's financial report and ASPs. Well, come to find out, Intel included revenue it got from their Ponte Vecchio GPUs, but John Petty Research assumed that the business unit only sold processors from client PCs. So when they divided revenue by the average price of the products, they got way more than what Intel actually sold, because Ponte Vecchio is obviously a lot more expensive than ARC. All in all, they overestimated by a whopping 60,000 GPUs. With the correct numbers, it turns out that Intel accounted for 6% of the total GPU sold. AMD remains at 9%, and Nvidia went up to 85%. So yeah, pretty big mistake by JPR, but at least they're upfront about it and made the correction. Next, I have a fantastic deal from this video's sponsor. Brilliant! If you haven't tried it yet, now's the perfect time, because they're offering a full 30-day free trial when you visit Brilliant. Brilliant.org slash GamerMelt. So for anyone that's wanted to dip their toes into computer science, there's no other place I recommend more. See, Brilliant was built from the ground up to teach the STEM field, and they really make learning not just easy, but fun. They actually use interactive puzzles to teach you in a much more interesting way, so you learn by getting right in there and doing it yourself. Like in this example, a sensor is used to make a decision sort of like an artificial neuron, and Brilliant has a ton of courses like this. Whether you want to learn programming, search engines or even quantum computing. Brilliant has it all, and with their new 30-day free trial, you can see it for yourself. Just visit Brilliant.org slash GamerMeld, and when you visit my link, you'll get 20% off the annual premium. I really can't recommend them enough. Once again, that's Brilliant.org slash GamerMeld. Next up for today, when PCI Express 4.0 came out, it wasn't that big of a deal to gamers for anything other than faster SSDs. The reason is because GPUs at the time simply didn't take up enough bandwidth to fully saturate PCI Express Gen 3, especially in 4K, which is what you'd typically use with higher-end parts. Well, it looks like that isn't the case anymore, as Tech Power Up recently ran some gaming benchmarks with the 4090. In it, they compared PCI Express 4.0 times 16 lanes to PCI Express 4.0 times 8, which is the same bandwidth as PCI Express 3.0 times 16. And as you can see, using the 4090, you actually lose a little performance when using PCI Express 4.0 times 8, even at 4K. On average, the PCI Express 4.0 times 16 is a little over 2% faster than times 8, but in some games, it can be lower, and in others, it can be much higher. Like in Far Cry 6, we're looking at an 8.3% performance increase while in 4 K, and that's odd because you typically only see a difference at lower resolutions. Of course, that's ultimately not a huge difference, plus it's while using a 4090 and 13900K. Anything under that will likely see no difference at all, but it's still interesting to see that at least the top end 4090 can be bottlenecked by using lower than PCI Express 4.0 times 16. And you may be thinking that we now have PCI Express 5.0, but remember that neither AMD or Nvidia's newest cards actually support the new standard, so they're all stuck on PCI Express 4.0, but given only the 4090 can be ever so slightly bottlenecked by times 8 lanes, I don't see a big reason for either company to switch. But it's still interesting to see that we're beginning to reach the end of that bandwidth. Next up, AMD GPU owners need to be extra careful when installing the company's newest drivers onto their system, as AMD officially acknowledged a pretty major bug that could completely break your Windows installation. The story comes from PC World, where they encountered the bug themselves while working with the new custom 7900 XT. Basically, after he installed the newest driver on the card and rebooted the system, it began an endless blue screen of death to restart loop. The next day, he was able to get the Windows repair 
repair options where Windows attempted a repair. But this only made it worse and ended up with black screens on boot. Nothing he could do worked until finally getting a possible workaround from AMD. Basically, he had to click the power button at an exact time during boot to get back to the Windows recovery tools where a system restore worked. But of course, that meant anything saved after the system restore date would be lost. So this is a big deal. It ultimately prompted AMD to make a statement, and according to them, it's apparently due to a PC update occurring while installing your adrenaline driver. To ensure it doesn't happen to you, they state, quote, we recommend users ensure all system updates are applied or paused before installing the driver, and that the factory reset option is unchecked during the AMD driver installation process. So yeah, make sure you do that when installing AMD's newest driver. They're currently working on a more permanent fix, and right now they claim it's a very rare issue, but it can clearly happen. And lastly for today, now AMD owners have a reason to rejoice. In fact, even Nvidia 20 series GPU owners have something to be happy about. If you saw my last video, you know that users found that Intel GPUs and even integrated GPUs offer support for video super resolution, meaning they can upscale a streamed video you're watching to a higher resolution in real time. And that was just after Nvidia officially released their VSR tech for RTX 30 and 40 series GPUs. Well, Microsoft just introduced their own video super resolution to the Edge browser. And what's wild is that it's already available to Edge users running the Canary Channel Insider build. Like NVIDIA's VSR, Microsoft uses machine learning to handle all of the upscaling. What's so interesting about this is that it doesn't just support NVIDIA GPUs, but also AMD's cards from the RX 5700 series to the 7800 series. Now, I'm assuming they meant 7900 series unless Microsoft just mistakenly revealed AMD's new GPU. Use. Either way, they even support NVIDIA's 20 series cards, which NVIDIA's own VSR doesn't currently support. With that said, there are a couple caveats here. When you read the first sentence of the announcement, it says, quote, one out of three videos are played at 480p or a lower resolution in Microsoft Edge. So with that in mind, it apparently only works in videos played at below 720p and higher than 192 pixels wide or high. So you won't be upscaling 1080p to 4K, at least not yet. Also, the video can't use DRM technologies, which means it likely won't work on things like Netflix. Finally, given this is specifically for Edge, you'll have to use Microsoft's browser to use the feature. But still, this is a big deal. Being able to see older videos in higher resolution is a great feature to have. And now both NVIDIA and AMD users can enjoy it. So while that does it for today, are you pumped to get upscaled videos? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant at brilliant.org slash And as always, have a great day.